Running back Anthony Carter ran for 152 yards and a pair of touchdowns, including this 33-yard effort to lead the Eagles over Newport News Apprentice 57-13. Will Davis added this 29-yard field goal to give the Eagles an early 10-0 lead, but Paul Morgan found Trevor Johnson with this 35-yard touchdown pass to bring the Builders within three points at 10-7. That play opened the door for big plays as Cliff Woodard took the ensuing kickoff from his own 17-yard line and returned it 83 yards to Paydirt to give Bridgewater a 17-7 lead at the end of the first quarter. Quarterback Carlos Gonzalez threw three straight touchdown passes in the second quarter, including this 58-yard effort to Julius Delbridge when he avoided the rush and tossed the ball over the middle to the wide receiver, who turned it into a long score. The score led to Bridgewater owning a 36-7 halftime lead. Anthony Carter capped his big day in the second half with this two-yard run, leading the Eagles to victory. After a scoreless first quarter in Hampton, Sydney, Catholic quarterback Greg Cordovari found Alonzo Cook with a 49-yard touchdown pass, giving the Cardinals a 7-0 lead midway through the second quarter. Evan King leveled the score with a two-yard plunge for the Tigers, but it was Brian Congaware that hit a 28-yard field goal, giving Catholic a 10-7 lead at the half. Hampton, Sydney exploded for 24 third-quarter points, beginning with this six-yard run by Travis Lane. Lane then hit Kyle Vance with a 15-yard touchdown pass, giving the Tigers a 21-10 advantage. The hampton Sydney defense got into the act as Sean Stewart intercepted this pass and returned it 40 yards down the far sideline for a touchdown. David Prizia ended the scoring outburst with a 31-yard field goal heading into the fourth quarter. Catholic scored the final points of the game when Cordovari found Alonzo Cook with this 13-yard touchdown pass, but it wouldn't be enough to overtake the Tigers. Emory and Henry traveled to Ashland, Virginia on Saturday for the 56 football meeting with Randolph-Macon College. Matt Turchin got the scoring started early in the second quarter with a 35-yard field goal. The Yellow Jackets tried to respond on the ensuing possession, but quarterback Zach Nakarada was intercepted in the end zone by linebacker Devin Sproles. It would be the first of two interceptions for the ODAX Defensive Player of the Week. E&H took advantage of the miscue and drove 80 yards in 13 plays capped off by a five-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Kyle Bowden to receiver Devon Ross, giving the Wasps a 10-0 halftime advantage. Randolph-Macon would get on the scoreboard late in the third quarter thanks to a 31-yard field goal by Josh Storm. But e &H responded immediately, scoring another touchdown on its next possession. This pass covered 11 yards from Bowden to receiver Chad Williams and gave the Wasps a 17-3 lead with 11-18 to play. Randolph-Macon would cut its deficit down to seven points on its next possession when Nacarado tucked the ball away and charged over the goal line for the Yellow Jackets' first and only touchdown of the game, but it gave them a chance on the final drive when Nacarado connected with Luke Sellers down to the Wasp's 17-yard line. But the next play would be the final play for the Yellow Jackets as Nacarado's pass was intercepted by Ross Ellis, securing the victory for Emory and Henry. Washington Lee scored early and often in its ODAC opener against Guilford College, and it all began with Charlie Westfall's 13-yard run to give the Generals a 7-0 lead. Washington Lee scored on its first three possessions, and it was special teams that gave them their second chance when Mitchell Thompson recovered this Aaron punt. Luke Heinson scored the first of his four touchdowns with this three-yard plunge, giving the Generals a 14-0 lead. Defense gave Washington Lee its third opportunity to score when Greg Barton intercepted this pass and returned it 31 yards to the Quakers' 23-yard line. Heinsohn needed just one play to put more points on the board for the Generals when he took this pitch and ran 23 yards to give them a 21-0 lead. Washington Lee scored four more touchdowns in the second quarter, including the only touchdown pass of the day when Westfall hit Russell Stewart with this 34-yard effort. Luke Heinsohn added his third touchdown of the game via this 63-yard scamper through the center of the Quakers' defense. Heinsohn was named the ODAC's Offensive Player of the Week for his four-touchdown effort. Heinsohn finished his day with this two-yard run.